What's bonk and y'all, we are back with some more Persona 5 Royal. Before we start today, I do want to say that my file data had been corrupted and afterwards I tried playing between 8.17 in the evening, which is the last point where we left off uh, in the last video, and I tried to go to 8.22 in the evening. However, the system that I am boarding myself on just decided to stop recording during the 8.17 evening, and I would replay everything between 7.16 and 8.17. So that so that we can have a complete playthrough here, but 716 is before Futaba's palace, so I would have to work through 10 hours worth of gameplay just to get back to three different hangouts. So I apologize for continuing on, but I feel like that is the best thing for both you and for my sanity. Just so you know, what we did between 817 and 819, we had a hangout with Mishima, which is rank 5. We had a hangout with Bakoto, which is rank 7. And we had a another silly little hangout with the wins. So yeah, once again, I apologize and I hope you understand where I'm coming from. Um, what shall we do? What shall we do? Don't pull a stone like that again, okay? Okay, I won't. Hmm? What's going on here? Um. Oh, right. You fell victim to it, too. Is it okay if I tell her, Mickey John? Yeah. Do you remember a whole while back when a bunch of models weren't showing up to our shoots? Oh, yeah, I remember. Well, apparently, Mika chan was posing as our industry and telling them the shoot locations changed. We had heard rumors that she might have been doing it, but we thought people were just jealous of her. I mean, those shoots she filled in for really boasted her popularity. Anyway, I asked her about it today and all she had to say was, I'm sorry. What I did was really terrible. I caused so many trouble for everyone. So much trouble for everyone. Yeah, that one. I, I can read. But I'm gonna start working even harder from now on, I promise. Anyway, let's get started. You're ready to go, right? Yep. <sighs> really did something that way. What are you calling me? This industry is overflowing with models. Without an end, your career will never get off the ground. Chances don't come to those who wait. You have to make your own luck if you want to succeed. <sighs> you really are something. It's your own fault for getting the food. If you can't crawl your way back up, you may as well go home. 
either way, it's not like I'm not talented. I just needed my shot. Now I'm selling you crazy. Talk big, but they still found out about your fake emails. Sure, but all I had to do was offer an teensy apology. It would have been dumb to try and hide it from them. Anyway, they can't sack me now. I'm gonna get even more popular, even if it means being detested for my actions. Oh! You're just like the villains I used to admire when I was a kid. Beautiful, strong, and wicked. Honestly, I just can't bring myself to hate you. Well, I don't have any trouble hating you. Sorry, Mika, but your hard work is only gonna get you to second place. I'm going to be the number one model. You might be more popular right now, but I'll take that spot from you fair and square. Alright then, I won't pull, pull any more tricks. I'll beat you with beauty, fair and square. Of course! Sounds good to me. Yeah, that's it this way. Hey, isn't that Mika? Wow, she's the new knight. Hey, isn't that Mika? Wow, she's in a prettier person. Ah, it's Mika. Oh, and on too. They're both so cute. Who must they be to have bodies like that? Well, it's so unfair. They might have some natural beauty, but they've gotta be exercising to have the bods. Wow, what a pose. Give me a few more, just like that. Something's changed in Ancha, huh? Yeah, she's really amped up the sexiness. Maybe she's gained some confidence. Do not say that to about a high school student, please. Thank you. Alright, let's take five here. Go get changed, Mika Chan. <laughs> Man, this is so fun. Today has been really great so far. So how was I? Compliment you. Yes! Really? That's awesome. It's kinda hard for me to tell, but I guess I've changed, huh? Um I know I said I want to be the number one model, but I'm okay with that not happening just yet. For now, I just want to keep improving, one step at a time. Then, someday down the line, I'll be able to look at myself with pride. Hopefully, people will see that confidence and draw strength from it. It's gonna be a ray of light for the people of this planet. Just like you and she, Hello. I'll be there with you. Yeah! Forever, okay. Reginald, you're my life. Alright, break time's over, Anchan. You're gonna be the main focus for the session. Got it. Hey! Let's hang out a little more after this shoot at, okay? <sighs> Back when I met Shiho, when she saved me, I realized that personal relationships are something to be treasured. That's why I'm not going to run away anymore. I'll face myself head on. This time, it's my turn to help someone. But I'm still kind of worried. Do you think you could help me? Mm-hmm. You can lean on me too, if you need it. Good. I feel like we finally see each other eye to eye. You're not even looking at me right now. <laughs> Wait, hold on. You're... <laughs> I never even noticed that before. She's... She's not looking at me. She's just looking straight forward. <laughs> okay. I'm so glad I met you. Okay, that's a little better. <laughs> Seeing eye to eye. I am thou. Thou art I. Thy b thou. All right. All right. I'm gonna stop counting on you. After all, you're an eternal member of my fan club. Uh, eternal? It means forever. Got it? 
Anyway, let's eat before our food gets cold. Time to dig in. Thank you very Thank you for Ah, oh, this is a perfect way to refill after some training. By the way, the track team's up and running again. Yamauchi got taken down pretty quick. You know Takeishi's mom is the PTA press, right? He told her everything. After that, she came storming in with the other parents and forbid the whole scouting plan. Oh, wish I could have seen the look on Yamauchi's face. <laughs> I mean, the school can't ignore the PTA. And as a result, the track team's back. Our old coach is filling in for now. Man, it serves that dick right. <laughs> what a great feeling. I think they might even go far in the meat. Can't lose them. <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh, crap, the ramen's gonna get soggy. Let's eat. Woo! <laughs> that was awesome. To tell the truth, I was scared of facing those guys straight up. I, I couldn't stand how much they hated me. It only just made me think of how stupid I was. Most of all, it made me remember how I lost my place with him. Hey, this ain't like me, but I managed to change because you were here helping me. I got you all wrapped up in this shit, but you stayed with me till the bitter end. You didn't abandon me, so <sighs> thanks, man. <laughs> it's funny, huh? This started out as us training for the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> How'd it end up like this? Either way, it's my turn now. If anything comes up, you tell me. I'll help you with whatever you need. My chest let's do this first up the phantom thieves I'll be counting on you leader and you can count on me too hey now that we're all fueled up want to race to the station well then house of top you worried about her dude this ain't just some normal oversleep and stuff deadlines tomorrow if Utaba's not up by then but can she really do anything even if she does wake up Honestly, not sure. Either way, our only option is to put our trust in her. That's right. Yeah. If she's been asleep all this time, do you think she's having some kind of long dream? Dreams are said to be the sorting of memories, after all. She surely needs ample time to face her troubled past. Her past? Do you think she's really facing all that shit right now? If that is the case, she would probably need a great amount more time to do so. But considering how she had us apprehend her fate, I feel as though she'll be able to pull this off. She'll be fine. Yeah, indeed. Well, just give us a ring if anything changes. We're counting on you. I have to agree with Makoto. Who knows how this might turn out? Now. Hey. Hurry up and learn this stuff, kid. You've gotta be able to start looking like a normal employee. I'm supposed to be running an honorable visitor, you know. So, honestly, the customers have been running a little bit lately. Some guy on the internet's been claiming all my goods are knockoffs. Once you've got a bad rap like that, it's real tough to shake it. I know how it feels. A kid like you. Going through something similar? I guess you wouldn't be doing any of this if you weren't, huh? Don't give me any details, though. I don't want to know. That's right. Anyways, I should probably fill you in on what's going on here since you'll be helping me out. I bet anything the guy behind that rumor is a sooner. You remember his name from the diner, yeah? Truth is, he's the second in command. He's the second in command. Same plan I was in back when I was a part of the Yakuza. I was New Year's thug. <laughs> you 
got some there. Anyways, Pseudo was my sworn brother back in the clan. I got some unsavory business going down with him now. The problem is, I'm a known quantity in the underworld. One bad step and I'd have guys crawling all over me. That's why I've got you around. You look normal, sure. But you got balls, kid. Makes you perfect for snooping on Suda. <laughs> Hope I ain't scaring you off with all this stuff. You made a deal, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, you know, I've got a bit of a soft spot for idiots like you. Anyways, you get the gist of what's going on now, yeah? You'll be working with that in mind. I expect a lot from you, kid. You should be grateful. And I'll add to the special menu to thank you for getting that info from me the other day. Hello? What's the meaning of this? I uh, told you to stop coming around here. But that one ain't your customer. <sighs> Keep your mouth shut. This ain't none of your business. Just go home and study, Karu. You've got entrance exams coming up, remember? Hey, okay, guess I'll be going then. Yeah. That's Karu, my son. He's always wor asking me if he can help out here. Always worrying about what I'm getting up to. <sighs> I probably wouldn't, shouldn't be telling you a kid like you about this. Well, you can head home for today. Nice work, kid. Isn't today our deadline for dealing with Medjed? Futaba's still asleep, too. This won't be good. Hey. How's Futaba? Same as always. Today's the day Wakaba passed. I do this every year. Here, I've got a cup for you, too. Futaba reminds me so much of her mother. She's a smart girl. Doesn't just go with the flow, either. Wakaba, your work and your kid were so fulfilling for you. Why'd you have to die so suddenly? That reminds me. You saw me talking to that prosecutor. And, I mean, that woman in the suit, right? I remember you were real bothered by it. She might come back, so I guess I should tell you about it. That woman was trying to get information on Wakaba's research out of me. That's what we heard in the palace. You don't need to know what the research was about. Just know there was some trouble around it. Obviously, Wakaba got dragged into that as well. Now, they ruled her death a suicide. But I've got my doubts. Doubts? Could she have been killed? Supposedly, there were people who wanted to take her research and use it for their own benefit. Don't get me wrong, though. I don't have a lick of evidence. That's why I haven't told Futaba any of this. I don't want to cause her any more trouble. It sounded like she had suspicions of her own based on what she said in the palace. Still, there's one thing I regret. It was right before Wakaba died. She told me, I think I might die. I brushed it off thinking it was just a joke. But if I had just taken her seriously... <sighs> That's another reason I took Futaba in. Redemption. She went through such horrible things. Those heartless adults just yelled at the poor girl. Hey, how do you heal emotional scars? Of course, uh, sorry. Futaba? Uh, uh, huh? You can't sell this. N never mind that. But uh, how did you get here? Uh, I walked. You're okay? Was that bad? Th th that's not it. I'm just shocked to see you out of the house. Uh, I'm sorry I worried you. <laughs> it's all right. By the way, what's the date today? Uh, it's, uh, it's the 21st. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Imagine. Oh, that's it. Let's take care of it now. Come. It 
it's my turn to help out. <laughs> Medjed. Now how do we cook them? Roger that. Hey, Futaba. We don't have much time left. Are you sure you could do this? The, the kitty talked? Is this a dream? I'm going back to sleep. It is not a dream! Get up! Say something! He's a talking cat. R right. Now hurry it up! Eh, I guess it doesn't matter. Let's get cracking. You're just tapping away over there. Are you sure this will work? Mm -hmm. mm. hmm. Hey, Futaba! <laughs> I don't think she can hear me. Talk about intense concentration. This place is so messy. I'm surprised she can focus at all. Futaba, you should really clean your room a bit. <laughs> She's not listening. Oh well. Just waiting around is boring. Let's clean the place up. Whew. It looks a little better now, don't you think? Well, Futaba, we're done on our end. Are you finished yet? <laughs> she can't hear a word I'm saying. <sighs> Guess we'll just have to keep waiting. What's up? Something happened? It's finished. Finished? What is? <gasps> it's so clean! Why? We cleaned it. Anyway, is it true? Did you really take care of Medjed? I handled them, and someone else handled my room. I don't understand, but this is good. Futaba? Hey, Futaba, what's wrong? <sighs> She's sleeping. Well, it looks like it's been taken care of. I guess we should get home and sleep, too. So Futaba's awake. Awesome! Has Majed been taken care of? Or more importantly, how's Futaba doing? She's back asleep. Seriously? She must have been quite exhausted. I can't say I blame her at all. If Majed's been infected, it will surely make the news. That should be enough to... Confirm whether or not the deed's been done. Why don't we all watch the news together? Yes, we should meet up at Leblanc as usual. See you guys tomorrow. We should be in the clear now, right? Well then. Oh. Sorry. So you're finally up, huh? Don't slack off just because you're on summer vacation. Yo, you look tired. We've made ourselves at home. Late last night, it was discovered that someone has tampered with the hacker group Medjid's website. The site's main page now displays what is thought to be the mark belonging to the Phantom Thieves. More so, the personal information of a Japanese man, a possible Medjid member, was illegally publicized. Aren't these the guys people have been up in arms about? Medjid has yet to issue an official reply. Furthermore, their previously announced cleanse of Japan has remained unimplemented for now. Some speculate that they have taken this series of events seriously and ultimately canceled their plan. Yeah! <laughs> yes! What are you all smirking about? Eh, nothing. Well, stop it. You're gonna drive away all my customers. After the commercial break, we will be asking guests from various fields about this turn of events. But there ain't any customers. Can it? My customers are on summer vacation too. Oh crap, I just realized our break's almost over. There are still ten days left. I want to go somewhere, but we can't just leave Futabachan alone. Some things still concern me too. Like that research. Oh, did you just get up? Good morning. <gasps> It seems she's cautious of us. Hey, uh, why don't we go upstairs? If any customers come, she'll be even more afraid. Why don't you go with them, Futaba? Have fun. It's about time my regulars show up anyway. So I don't want you guys loitering around my store. 
The fact that there were no damages due to the hacker's actions is but an afterthought. The issue I want to make clear is the attitude of the police, and more importantly, the government. <sighs> what do you mean? Are they doing their best to find an effective countermeasure against these phantom thieves? Is it not the government's duty to create a society where its citizens can live without worry? Unfortunately, the current cabinet is powerless. As such, they should be disbanded. I believe now is the time for me to risk my political career in hope of making a new reality. A new political system that goes beyond parties or factions. An ideal country of peace and order. This politician seems quite promising. I have to agree. I hope he can work to ease the anxieties of the elderly. What do you think, boss? Hmm? Oh, sorry. Uh, I wasn't listening. So the Phantom Thieves only stole the heart of Futaba Sakura, and Mejid was in turn defeated by her real-world hacking abilities? This does correlate to the facts as we know them. If he's telling the truth, then Wakaba Ishiki didn't commit suicide. Did a third party target her life with the goal of destroying her research? Wakaba's death was two years ago. That also coincides with when the incident started occurring. Does this other Metaverse user that Madarame and Kaneshiro mentioned really exist? Earlier, I briefly mentioned about those psychotic breakdown incidents that have alarmed the public. All of a sudden, people will lose consciousness or become violent. A situation as incomprehensible as that can't be explained away as troubled social conditions. I suspect that these cases are all connected to a larger, man-made plot. The method involved always muddled the explication but your story has virtually confirmed its viability. Although I wouldn't have expected a new criminal to come to light from your testimony. What did your group think of this other Metaverse user? The true criminal. How self-centered of you. The Phantom Thieves tamper with people's hearts without asking consent. How is that different? <laughs> well, no matter how you thought of them, there can be no doubting your resolve. Are those incidents because of you or someone else? Either way, I will get to the bottom of this. Now, let's move on to your next crime. Kunikazu Okumura. You should know who he is, considering what happened. Your testimony regarding this incident will be serious. I'm sure you understand why. Answer my next question carefully. What did you do to this Okumura? To think, the cognitive version of a person would transform into such a horrible monster and attack us. That means our enemies aren't limited to shadows. I thought the other people were just victims. Like the slaves at the castle, or the walking ATMs. Even though they seem to be alive, they're only part of the backdrop. The environment. In other words, the palace ruler determines the form and strength of their cognitions. I would have loved to ask Futaba's mother how far along she was with her research. Research, huh? She was looking into that cognitive science stuff, yeah? If we put together all the information we've gathered up to this point, abuse of cognitive science can lead to death, and it may even relate to the psychotic breakdown incidents. Considering the cognitive aspect, I sense a strong connection between it and the metaverse. On top of that, the research might have been stolen and used by someone else. You mean those guys that showed Futaba-chan the fake suicide note? If that is the case, those people are unforgivable. Hey, Futaba, is there anything else you can remember? <sighs> she is quite difficult. That smell. Come on, no fair! Hey, can I snag a bite? Meanie. Why don't we take a short break? I've been thinking, even if Futaba is a genius, could she really crush an international hacker organization that easily? The one who taunted the Phantom Thieves was a guy in Japan. I knew the Mejed members in Japan weren't anything special, so I wasn't worried. How do you know that? Because I'm the founder. Um... <laughs> What do you mean? Should we take that literally? Yep, it was only me at first. 
back when I was referred to as the Hacker of Justice. But since I stayed anonymous, a bunch of guys from all over the world started using the name. And those were the ones committing cyber crimes. It was a hassle to expose all of them, so I just left them be. Oh, uh, so Futaba was the true Medjed, and we were freaking out over some weak-ass dipshits? <sighs> you should have told us from the start, Futaba. I discarded the Medjed name a while ago. I'm Alibaba now. Futaba, what do you want to do now? Since you know our secret, we'd like you to join our team. Okay. Just like that? This may even ensure our investigation of mementos goes along smoothly. Well, I guess... Well, Futaba's real amazing. She's gonna be a big help for us, huh? Say, Futaba, how did you find out about us? Secret. Where did you learn to hack? Private. When did you obtain the nav? I refuse to answer. Futaba-chan sure is unique. Still, it'll be a problem if she doesn't open up to us some more. At the very least, we need to be able to communicate normally with her. <laughs> what should we do? Let's get to know her. How? First, we'll need to help her open up to us. If we each spend an entire day with her, maybe she'll get more used to being around us. I see. We do have the time, thanks to summer vacation. We can begin tomorrow. Let's go to the beach! There'll be tons of people there. Plus, we got totally dried out in that desert. That's a great idea! I forgot I hadn't gone to the beach yet. Uh, excuse me. I'll come by tomorrow. See you then. Let me help as well. I don't have anything planned. Thanks. We can set a schedule with everyone else, depending on when they're free. Okay! Can I really do this? I don't like either of these answers. Good luck. Why me? Stress is the enemy of beauty, you know. How can I stay calm about this? I understand how you feel. Thanks to the incident with those hackers, people are calling us incompetent. And on top of all that, the Phantom Thieves are claiming justice is on their side. Don't make me laugh. Measured was dealt with by either the Phantom Thieves themselves, or some avid supporter. There are no tracks whatsoever, so they must be quite skilled. Either way, the general public recognizes the Phantom Thieves as the subjugating party. They're gaining support and influence much faster than we could have anticipated. It is indeed an abnormal situation. I'm beginning to suspect mass manipulation of some kind. It's even possible that a powerful person is behind them, plotting the psychotic breakdowns. If only I had realized sooner. It's rare to hear you speak in that tone. For the sake of my justice, I won't forgive them. Hey, I heard some people talking about us on the train home. They were saying how awesome they fucking think the Phantom Thieves are. I've heard things too, it's becoming a huge topic of conversation. To be fair, the casualties from the Vegeta attack would have been massive. It's no surprise they revere us for preventing it. Yeah, it's really all things to Alibaba. You were a great help. It was nothing. Oh, they remind me. Remember that stuff about ATMs and banks just stopping? That wasn't magic, was it? Nope, that was totally separate. So people were overreacting to mere coincidence? Either that, or those rumors were never true to begin with. You seem to be a quite big talkative in these conversations. Is that so? I'll shut up then. I don't think Ink I get it, but I'm pretty sure she's Ink. You gotta apologize, Yusuke. Me? Why? Hey, is this really going to be okay? I'm worried about how things will be from now on. Oh, well, that's my Phantom Thieves. I knew they'd pull it off. This definitely proves the justice of Phantom Thieves. Maybe, right? Right? It feels great. Even the guys who have been criticizing the Phantom Thieves basically have to accept them now. 
The news has been spreading like wildfire, too. I'll give it an extra boost on my site. Well, I bet the approval rating will be through the roof tomorrow. Look forward to it. Why is he, of all people, getting excited about this? Well, the news really did draw a lot of attention. I can't wait to see what happens. Nice going! Thank you very much. Actually... This is it. The digital version of the weekly magazine. My father's deteriorating health. In that, he's bedridden. The fact that my mother primarily supports us. They even reported that my mother works at a nightclub. Which is not untrue. But was it really necessary for them to write about all this? Capitalizing on family's private matters is just cruel. My family's troubles have nothing to do with my skills as a shogi player. My mother was furious when she read the mark. She said it'll hurt her career and that she'll never forgive whoever wrote it. My father didn't say anything. He just sat there listening to her. But he looked troubled. <sighs> my mother told me that we'd be able to easily quell these rumors if I were to become more famous. So now she's even more insistent on having me do more TV and magazine interviews than before. Is that frustrating? Yes. Although, I can't express that to my mother. She's so happy for me. Um... I always believe that if I work hard as a shogi player, I'll be able to support us. But I never expected such a destructive article would be written about me and my family. Honestly, nothing good will come from being treated like an idol. People say I'm all looks and no skills. They're annoyed that I'm in the press all the time. Terrible things have been said about me, suggesting I would do anything to become popular. I'm even starting to be shunned in the shogi world. That's why we, my senior acted that way toward me. Um... The real reason I practice in the church is that no one wants to play with me. My father used to practice with me from his sickbed, but his illness has made that impossible. Maybe I should stop playing shogi and just get a job. That way my family won't get hurt again. You understand my true feelings. At the end of the day, I love Shoki. I'd never be able to give it up. I was just confused because of that article and how my senior treated me. However, I think I can see my next move thanks to you. You're helping me realize a lot about myself outside of Shoki. Let's return to the church and play a match. That article has left me somewhat irritated. I'm going to use my secret move, the Eternal Abyss Gura Gate. Turn the board into hell. Well, would you care to face me in a match? Until next time. Hello, this is Hifumi. Thank you so much for accompanying me today. I needed the distraction. Trying to solve this on my own, I felt caught in a vicious cycle, but you helped me find a path. You might make a fine priest yourself, considering how good a listener you are, I mean. Hey, you're imagining things. Really? I thought I felt a hidden potential brewing within you. You really are a strange individual. I was supposed to be your teacher, but somehow the tables have turned. I'm the one learning from you. I would love to keep learning from you. Well then, if you'll excuse me, I'll see you at the church. Our master would like a word with you. Stand up straight and listen closely, inmate. It seems you freed the heart of a frenzied girl and saved her from her haunted past. <laughs> Another step has been taken to rehabilitation. You are progressing quite nicely. Our master bestows words of praise upon you. You'd better feel honored. By the by, more curious information has found its way to your ears. A scientist's research. It seems that world may secretly be known after all. Furthermore, 
That very research has been stolen and is now used by those with malicious intent. I wonder how this will change the approach you take toward your rehabilitation. Who stole the research? <laughs> Allow me to grant you a new power worthy of your current self. Though you have my aid, be sure not to let your guard down. Otherwise, you may get swept off your feet. We shall meet again in the near future. Time to go, inmate. Okay. Makoto and Yusuke are scheduled for today, huh? I haven't seen... What happened to them? Futaba, are you gonna open up? Open what? The front door. Why? Won't you come in to Reginald? We're in front of Futaba's house. You wanna meet here and not at LeBlanc? Isn't that more comforting? You never mentioned this. It would be nice if you could hurry down soon. It's scorching hot out here. You demon! Um... Looks like we're meeting up immediately over at Futaba's. Makoto's really going about this seriously. What is that supposed to be? Don't worry about it. Such avant-garde design. You have excellent taste. <laughs> Let's get started, shall we? What do you plan on doing? I'd like to simply have a normal conversation. That is the basis of true communication, after all. Seem confident? Yes. You must be well-versed in speaking when you are student council president. Don't think too hard about our conversation. We're just going to talk about ordinary topics today. And what do you mean by ordinary topics? You know, things like food or the weather. Well then, let's begin with food. What do you like to eat, Futaba? Organic ones. Um, that wasn't exactly what I meant. Uh, let's try a different topic. How about the weather? I heard that this heat wave is showing no sign of stopping. Dunno, I haven't been out. Oh, right. Makoto's getting overwhelmed. Th this is odd. It, it wasn't supposed to go like this. By the way, Yusuke, what have you been doing this whole time? Oh, superb. Some of their heads came off when I was moving them, but I made sure to rearrange them pleasingly. My children! What have you done to my children? They appear to be quite shoddily made. They're from Phoenix Rangers Neo Feather Man! No! Okay. Yellow and pink's heads, and red's been hacked to bits! This is all Inari's fault! Just a quick, quick thing here. I know it's off topic, but can I get that fanny pack? Yo, that, that, I would love that fanny pack, dude. Inari? You know, Inari sushi? The tofu things foxes eat in the old stories? What kind of fox doesn't know that? Inari. Oh, they were in the perfect poses, too. It was so much work getting them set up just right. Huh. You wouldn't know aesthetics if it hit you in the face, Inari. Uh, how dare you say that to me, of all people? Sheesh, that's not a conversation anymore. It's a full-blown argument. Yeah. I see. So their versatility allows you to recreate almost any dramatic scene you can imagine. Mm-hmm. Victory is great for action, and Neo's got the best transforming suit. So cool. Fascinating. Art depicts a flash of inspiration, but models offer a much different means of enjoyment. Hmm? Take a look at that. Futaba's having a regular conversation. It seems she doesn't have a problem talking to others as long as the subject interests her. I suppose the topics I brought up were not the right ones. So this is all I gotta do? What a breeze! In that case, we should advance to the next step. How about we have her spend time in someone else's room? Yes! 
She hasn't had many chances to leave the house yet, so that would be the perfect opportunity. Don't set the bar so high! Please, well, I'll be there too. Well, I guess in that case... I've left Tamara to An and Ryuji. He'll be there as well, so you'll be okay. Can I wear my mask? I think it would be best if you didn't. There's really no telling how tomorrow's going to go. Dude, people are so pumped. They're talking around all about how the bandit thieves took down Medjid. Mishima's website has a shit ton of comments flooding in too. The news coverage has been pretty insane as well. Yes, they have only spoken of the Phantom Thieves for the entirety of today. We've been getting attention all around the city. So, how's the one who helped us stay down Majid going? Futaba-chan! My Phoenix Rangers almost met their demise. It was Yusuke's fault. Don't complicate things further. Anyway, things didn't go perfectly, but it's definitely a step in the right direction. Tomorrow's goal will be to spend time in someone else's room. Futaba is a difficult personality to handle. Good luck to you, too. Shut it, Inari. Alright, it's your turn next. It's our turn next. See you tomorrow, Futaba. We have so much to talk about. Ooh, I can't wait. Lady On and Ryuji teaming up honestly worries me. But I guess we'll see what they can do. Got a job for you, Captain Nango. You'll be so long this one. Tied up with another task. Here's today's job. There's a homeless guy in Shibuya who knows about a certain issue. Get him to talk about the rumor of a deal with the underworld. But don't raise any suspicion, alright? Do you want to know about some underground business deals, huh? You know, you can find anything you need on the internet, right? Or are you maybe looking for something a little more? I can see it in your eyes. Who sent you here? None of your business. Sure. Anyways, I'll tell you. Just this once. You're getting into some shady business here. Alright. Just act like I'm mumbling to myself. You got it? No promises I'm gonna say anything useful either. So an ex-sec for the Hong Kong Mafia came to Japan sometime around two years ago. Apparently something went down with a huge Asian investor. Deal was worth about 100 million yen. Though you'd figure something that mo massive would got more people talking about it. Maybe they leased some kind of high-end club to keep it as private as possible. I didn't hear a thing about that though. All right, we're done here. Go. Door is impressive as always. Great stuff, Iwai. Yeah. It's nice to hear that coming from you, Suda-san. I bet you could start a war with realistic model thieves. Seriously, these are incredible. I should get going now, though. Hmm? Yo. Welcome. Alright, you are. I'll take one of everything you showed me today. I'll need an entire arsenal. How long would that take? <sighs> Depends on how quick the parts come in. Some stuff's probably going to have to go through, through customs. How long things get stuck there's totally out of my control. How long things get stuck there's totally out of control. Totally out of my control. Tell me, what's your son's name? Person, was it? That's right. Well then. If you don't deliver on time, I, I might just have to let Kaoru kun in on here. We'll see. <clears throat> see what's on, please. I wonder how will an adolescent boy like him react to finding out his father was in the Yakuza? I guess if things go sour, we can always try to sell him again. Fine. I'll put a rush on your order. Happy now? Very much so. Well, I look forward to hearing from you again. Too. Sorry to make you wait. Shit. God damn it. What do you mean, sell him? <sighs> Just forget about it. <sighs> Sorry you had to see that. Anyways, how'd it go today? You learn about anything good? 100 million yen deal. <sighs> so someone made a big deal with the Hong Kong Mafia worth 100 million yen. 
year, and it happened sometime around New Year's. Wouldn't surprise me if Tsuda had something to do with it. I hear he's been bragging all over about a big score he made right near the start of the year. Gotta do some more research into it myself. <laughs> Anyways, nice job. I'm gonna be able to give Tsuda a real scare thanks to the info you gave me. Yeah, and where's my reward? Anyone ever told you how demanding you are? But, uh, another time, yeah. <laughs> Man, I can't wait to see the look on Suda's face. It's been ages since I've felt this excited. And it's all because of you, kid. Turns out, you're pretty useful. Well, I'm gonna head home early, spend some good old quality time with Karu to celebrate. Yo! Damn fine job again, kid. Get on out of here. Yo, it's me. Just wanted to give you a fair warning before I go home to Karu. You definitely got me some good intel. Honestly, I appreciate that. But now Tsuda knows your face. That could be a real problem. I agree. You catch on fast. Thanks to that shit today, Tsuda knows you're connected at least. Which means that stunt we pulled with Masa ain't gonna work on it. What's done is done. If one method isn't gonna work, we just gotta find another. I'll think about our next move. Until then, don't do anything stupid. When I need help, I'll get in touch. Hope you'll be ready. Hmm. You seem surprisingly calm. I thought you'd be more panicked. There are no customers. Yo! We're here! <coughs> Sorry we're late. We were out buying stuff and I got a little caught up in what to get. So many snacks. What exactly do you plan on doing? Well, summer vacation's the time when you lounge around in your room all day. Yeah, and eating snacks is the best part of that. You're gonna get fat, you know. Uh, shut it! Hey, where's Futaba? You have done well in coming here. Ah! Shit freaked me out! Oh, hey, you Futaba? Yep, welcome. Why are you wearing that? Habit? Anyway, bring it. Not sure I get it, but let's do this. Sheesh. Looks like today is going to be another noisy day. For real, it was freaking amazing. There were girls all over me. Wait, you don't believe a word I'm saying, do ya? Uh, it's you we're talking about here. There's no way you were ever a chick magnet. What was that? Agreed. As a member of the opposite sex, I sense no charm from you, Ryuji. Plus, popular guys wouldn't go bragging about that stuff to other people. I keep wondering if I should do it while I'm still young. But the dresses show a lot of skin, right? Hey, are you even listening? There's no point talking about wedding dresses right now. None of us have significant others. Yep, I'm not getting married anytime soon. Can we please talk about something else? You know, Futaba's fine having conversations. Yeah, she doesn't have any trouble speaking her mind. Seems totally normal to me. I don't know what normal is, but if this is it, I'm happy. I totally thought you were gonna be some weirdo, but <laughs> I guess all that worrying was for nothing. Mm-hmm, I'm relieved too. I think things should keep going smoothly at this rate. By the way, What's on the agenda for tomorrow? How about we have her try helping around the cafe? That's perfect! It'll be good practice to have her up in front of strangers. Eep! Nope, nope, nope! Showing up in the shop at lunchtime will be like super crushing hard mode! You don't have to deal with customers if you don't want to. Maybe you could dry plates in the back. I'll be there too. I'd be mad if you weren't. Then it's all set. We'll be rooting for you, Futaba. Uh, you're all gonna pay for this someday. Our popularity is through the roof. You guys gotta hear this. This cute chick said she wants to go out with a phantom thief. But not you specifically, huh? Not surprised. As a member of the opposite sex, I sense no charm from you, Ryuji. You don't gotta say it over text, too. What in the world were you all doing today? The girl talking, well, live long. Er, more like the chatting and snacking, really. So 
so she's completed her objective for the day. Next up is practice going out in front of people. Wait, what? You'll be fine. Reginald will be with you the whole time. We want to ease you into it, so your first test will be hanging out at LeBlanc. Only Reginald will be up with you tomorrow. Good luck. You got it. Thanks for the help. Hey! <sighs> um, I look forward to it. <laughs> I feel like I can play Shogi at a different place pace here. The scenery, the sounds, the smells. I'll be able to utilize all five of my senses. Perhaps I'll even come up with some new ideas. It's a good stimulator, huh? Yes. A different sensibility than usual awakens. It helps one come up with new moves. I've opened up new opportunities through your shogi. You are like a shogi piece filled with endless moves. I wonder what kind of person you will become. Just Possibilities is fine. I'm starting to get the feeling that you move from it. Well then. Now that we feel refreshed, let us play fair and square. Okay, let's end here for today. Well then. Today's the day we're having Fatava try and help out at the cafe, right? This is, will be a stressful turn of events. Do you want me to let Futaba help out around the shop? But I've never had her do anything like that before. Is she gonna be okay? I'll be there for her. This isn't the same as taking care of a cat, you know. D don't worry. I did graduate middle school last year. I'll be fine if I just think of this as my first summer job of high school. Well, in that case, uh, how about you wash the dishes? Just don't push yourself too hard, okay? Hey, are you all right? The usual, boss. Extra strong. It's your thing. Keep an eye on Futaba for me. You okay? Wee oui, wee! Oui. <laughs> she a new part timer? Man, smooth as always. What number Bond girl is this, boss? It's not like that. You usually go for the older ones, right? It's only natural you'd want someone younger sometimes. It's like the Guatemala Peaberry coffee. Its acidic sweetness is akin to a... We're serving a blend today. Hey, snap out of it. Hurry up and bring him the coffee before it gets cold. <gasps> Yo, here's your coffee. When in the world did she... Hey, Futaba, haven't I told you not to show up in front of people with that damn thing on? And... And be more polite when you're bringing something to a customer. Uh, here's your coffee. Sir? Uh, thanks. Did you see? I did my job right! You did great. Huh, turns out this is pretty easy. <laughs> to think Futaba would go out and talk to a customer herself. Mask aside, I'm impressed. Looks like people really can change. So, Jiro, want me to bring coffee to more customers? N mask off first. Oh, I'll think about it. Did anyone here sh share information about our real identities? I can help we do that. I have a question. I overheard someone in the city saying there are our acquaintances. Talk about false rumors. But hey, at least we're famous enough to have rumors about us. We might even break into the news online. Or maybe TV. Yeah, we caught. Well, yeah. By the way, how did today go? I served coffee to feed the customers. She did go. That's great, Futaba-chan. Anyways, you better get used to it fast. You can't be a phantom thief if you're scared of people. I'll try my best. We're on a roll! And then there's Ryuji. It's like he doesn't have a care in the world. <sighs> He's gonna get in trouble somewhere down the line if he keeps this up. What do you think? Um... What shall we do? 
Here we go. Well, okay. Today we're gonna try brewing a cup of coffee from step one. Just listen to what I tell you. These beans are Colombian. A fi medium fine city roast. Oh, and don't let the water boil too much. You're gonna be fine. I'll be here the whole time. Yeah. Not bad. Though I guess anyone can do something as simple as just brewing it. Making a blend, on the other hand, is a different story. Mixing beans at random won't do anything. That's because the acidity and the pro profile flavor all depend on the bean ratio. Pretty deep, huh? Tell me more. Ah, somebody's enthusiastic. Ugh, somebody's enthusiastic. If you're really that interested, feel free to try out whatever combinations you want to. Oh, but hands off the expensive beans. Got it? Next up is the curry. There's something special about its flavor. The truth is, the scientific genius actually came up with the perfect spice combo to complement my coffee. Something about the quantification of taste. Uh, there's no formula for flavor, but it is pretty damn good. Uh, anyhow, we don't make compromises when it comes to the food service. Our stuff's got a wow of customers. This is a tiny shop after all. Self-satisfaction is the only thing that keeps me going. You. <clears throat> Haven't I already told you I don't have the money? Look at this place. You see any many customers in here? Oh, no need to hide it, Sakura-san. You must have saved plenty from your time working in the government. Aren't you taking care of that employee right there, too? For nothing more than charity? I wish you show be the same kindness you show others. <sighs> if you're not planning on buying anything, can you please leave? I'm expecting a phone call, so I don't have time to chat with you. I don't mind if you take the call in front of me. I can talk to your little friend here in the main time. So, should we keep talking about until your call comes in? Or would that be too inconvenient for you? Well, There's that social services call I was waiting for. They come around pretty often to make sure this guy's not getting in any trouble. Want me to introduce you? Oh, that's right. I have some business I need to take care of myself. I'll come back later. Jeez. Does he really have nothing better to do? I guess I should explain what's going on. He might try and drop by when I'm not around. That man is an old acquaintance of mine who's short on cash right now. Looks pretty friendly, huh? Don't let him fool you. It's all an act. I have to say, though, I'm surprised you were quick-witted enough to pull that stuff off. You really saved me back there. Thanks. Still, why do you poke around into other people's troubles? It's way easier to ignore them. I guess that's just the kind of person you are, though, huh? Is that time already? I'd report him to the cops if he wasn't related to her. Oh, uh, never mind that. No, then. Anyway, that's it for today. Go. Study or something after you close up. Sorry about today. Didn't mean to get you wrapped up in my problem. Probably don't have to say it, but if that guy shows up while I'm, I'm out, just try to ignore him, okay? Just let him do his thing and get on with the job. Got it? Understood. Good. Whatever he says, just don't let it get to you. You're still under probation, so don't cause a scene, yeah? Alright, I'll, I'll be trusting you on this. Later. Well then. Have anything planned? I'm out shopping with Makoto. We'll head over when we're done. 
honestly, I wanted to bring Futaba along with us. Can't just take her into crowds like that, though. That'd be way too soon. Sometimes drastic measures are necessary. Such spiky words. You know, you'll need to do this someday, right? Actually, Queen's clothes have lots of spikes, too. They would probably pierce my hand if I touched them. I have honestly considered that possibility as well. Not you too, Yusuke. Hey, this sounds like fun. I want to join in. We're talking to Futaba. This is the, the, this doesn't involve me. No, honest goal to you. We'll take notes on this. Anyway, look forward to us coming over. My heart's pounding. Mm. Mm. What are they? Today's the fourth day already. You getting a little better at dealing with other people? Uh, I don't know. Can't really tell. People cannot change their deep-seated habits that easily. Well, let's just say you've made some progress for now. No! Oh, stop it! You're gonna blow my cheeks off! Man, those girls are late. What do they think they are making us wait like this? Hello. Please excuse us. Apologies for the lateness. We were looking at multiple items and weren't sure which to choose. Looking? Looking at what? A swimsuit, of course, for Futaba-chan. A uh, swimsuit? You don't have one, do you? No, but... Okay, let's have you try it on right now, then. No, 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 now? <laughs> you can't go to the beach if you don't have a good-fitting swimsuit. We don't have much time left, you know. Uh, but... Um, uh... You know what'll happen if you try and look, right? Wow, it's perfect! I'm amazed you were able to eyeball it with such accuracy on. I know, right? There we go! It's on! What the? This barely covers anything! That's normal for a swimsuit. Now, we just need to push these a little more this way. Yeah! Push! Are you supposed to move them with that much force? You gotta put some oomph into this stuff. <laughs> there. Good to go. Whoa, even I'm impressed. I wonder what they're doing up there. They're having her try on the swimsuit, right? What else could they be doing? Futaba in his swimsuit, hmm? I suspect that would make a great painting. Perhaps we should ask Makoto about it. Yeah, go for it, Ryuji. Go do that. Me? I humbly request you do so as well. <laughs> Hell no! You guys are such children. What's with all the ruckus upstairs? Something about a swimsuit? Yeah, we're going to the beach pretty soon, so they're trying some swimsuits out. Futaba's going to the beach. <laughs> I didn't think I'd ever see her take that much interest in going outside again. It seems we're good to go with the swimsuit. All flattery aside, I think it looks really great. Now you just gotta get rid of those round shoulders. Come on, straighten out your back. Right. She might be some trouble, but I hope she can make some great memories with you guys. We've got swimsuits. We're totally ready to hit the beach. All that's left is for Futaba to prepare herself mentally. I can do this. I can... I think... Maybe... So you're not confident. Shut up, Inari. Yeah, it's finally starting to feel like summer vacation. Still, I've been thinking about some things now that matters have calmed down a little more. What? Psychotic breakdowns, cognitive science, and the one in the black mask. Well, I wonder who they are. Do you think they're going for the same thing we are? That said, we don't have enough information right now. We'll need to investigate more. I'll help out too. Can we talk about this some other time? So damn sleepy. Okay, good night then. For Tabachan. Good luck tomorrow too. Oh, honey. Hey. Hmm. I mean, thank you. Okay then. Nice work, hon. See you. Mm. Yep. Hmm. So what should we do today? 
Let's see. Want to eat together? You know, like how we had Hot Pot that one time. That may be a good idea. It'll be a great way to strengthen our intra squad friendships. I, I can do that. Okay, I'll take a cola and an omelet with rice. Oh, and make that a large, please. I'd like the same. Uh, do you have the money? No, but this is for Futaba's sake. <sighs> Fine. You owe me, got it? I want the same. Extra large. Ah, I ate loads. Damn, Futaba, I'm impressed. Indeed, your appetite is quite nice to see. I much prefer that to women who don't eat a lot. You better not be hitting on me. Damn How right. rude. Sojiro, help me! Will you stop that? So does this mean our training's going good? I don't think so. Let's go with that then. Hey, let me make you guys some after meal coffee. It's on me. Thank you. I want iced cocoa! You can't handle bitter stuff either, right? Iced cocoa sound good? Yeah, definitely. Extra cold, please. <laughs> I don't think we've ever had a lunch this lively. Mm -hmm. It's lots of fun. Hey, what do you think we should do about the beach trip? Does it look like she can go soon? Well, she has started to talk a lot more. She's made great progress compared to not how she was at the beginning. Thoughts, Futaba? Will you be able to do this tomorrow, perhaps? Tomorrow? It's too soon. I want to prepare myself. I'm searching all along. When is a good face? I should be good if it's the day after tomorrow. I think. We'll do the day after tomorrow. Just let us know if you are up for it, Tyler. Okay. It's all right. I can do this. Oh, looks like we know when we'll actually finish up now. The beach is finally within reach. Check. You have been defeated. The battlefield is mine. The ultimate Togo Kingdom is complete. All my pieces have been taken. Yumi has left me utterly defeated. But to think you could stay standing after being struck by my silver infinity sword? You've improved. Considering that you endured the climbing silver so early in the match, the determination I'm sensing from you is a real inspiration. I must think of a new move. I'm afraid you'll surpass me one day if I don't stay sharp. Actually... An exhibition match against the pro my mother was talking about has been confirmed. He's a very famous shogi player. I'm aiming to be the first woman to reach the pro ranking league. I'm sure it will draw a lot of attention, especially after that article. However, I don't intend to lose. This is my chance to display my true skills. I confess, I'm a bit scared. Come down to look. You're right. However, that also means I have a chance of winning, even though I'm my opponent is ranked higher. To be honest, I'm not sure how well my skills will hold up against a true professional. All right. But I'm sick of being treated like a doll. I have to show them what I'm made of. I believe in you. Thank you. So, um, there's a move I want to try out. Would you like to play another match? Thank you very much. Strategically place your pieces in the enemy zone to increase your chances of getting gold. Be sure to use that tactic in your next match. For today, try and steal the pieces you want from it. Let's begin the match. I hereby place this golden mantle upon your shoulders. Don it with pride. I'll start. Come, lightning metamorphosis gold promotion. Those are words. Thank you for today. Okay. Just one more day to go. Tomorrow we hit the beach. Are you there? Sorry, but I need your help with the dishes. Help with the dishes! Is Futaba here too? That means we're not only helping out at the cafe, but you're also babysitting Futaba today too. Well, the faster we get started, the faster we'll finish. You want anything, Futaba? Orange juice. 100% natural. That reminds me, you're going to the beach tomorrow, yeah? Go have fun, and make up for the fireworks. Just try not to cut loose too much. Fireworks? Oh, yeah, you wouldn't know. He tried to go to a firework festival, 
but it got rained out. Not only did he get crushed in the crowd, but he came home looking like some kind of drowned rat. Fireworks, huh? Hello. Oh, welcome. Oh, you're... Huh? You know each other? Wait, aren't you... I'm the catchy. Oh, yeah, the one on TV and stuff. So what brings you here, Mr. Detective? This place is more than I imagined it to be. The atmosphere is wonderful. No wonder Sai san recommended it so strongly to me. Hmm. I already told her everything I know. There's nothing more I've got for you people. Oh, no, that's not my intention. I just came to enjoy some coffee. Oh. And she is? Oh, you must be Wakabai Shiki's... What'll it be? I'll have whatever you recommend. Coming right up. Huh. It seems I'm unwelcome no matter where I go. <sighs> Did I bother you? My apologies. Apparently my mother was in a relationship with some lowlife of a man. She was swiftly discarded when he learned she was pregnant. That despair would lead to her death. Thanks to him, I was passed from foster home to foster home. But I do quite well by myself these days. Mm. Ah, yes, Mejed. To think they'd be taken down by another hacker. I'm not sure whether Mejed was defeated by the Phantom Thieves themselves, or an avid supporter. Um, you're... Futaba-chan, right? Saisan told me about you. Many kids your age seem to be fans of the Phantom Thieves. Do you like them too? Hmm. What's the matter? You're popular too, Ace Detective Akechi. <laughs> Thank you. Although I'd rather not be compared to people like the Phantom Thieves, if at all possible. Hmm. This is delicious. You get to drink this coffee every day? I'm incredibly jealous. I would never have thought you'd be boarding at this cafe. We seem to share some kind of bond. I agree. <laughs> Thank you. I believe that fate brings people together. It's strange, but talking to you is thought-provoking. Well, I think I found my go-to cafe. Blanc. Wanna light fireworks? Can we? I bought some. You can buy yourself? Mm hmm. I ran into Mona on the way back, though. I'll go get Sojiro. I was worried, so I decided to follow her. She was able to buy everything on her own, though. If she can do that, she should be good to go. Plus, she did a great job dodging that ace detective. Sojiro, hurry, hurry! We're gonna have a firework festival! Oh, hold on, Futaba. I, I haven't even put on my cigarette yet. <laughs> Come on! Don't get the smoke on me! Super double move! Whee! Will you listen to... <laughs> hey, the, the cat doesn't like the smoke. Keep the flames away from him. Dang! I made a huge one! Sojiro, look! Look! <laughs> right. It's just be careful, okay? <laughs> Memories of summer, huh? Okie dokie. I'm gonna do ten now! No! no! <laughs> <laughs> mm. Alright, we're going to the beach tomorrow. I've been anticipating this for so long. We'll be entrusting care of Futaba to you, Reginald. Alright. I'll be good on my own, you know. Only ask that you try not to get separated from each other in the crowd, okay? No worries. I've already made preparations for when that happens. That don't make me feel better. Make sure you keep an eye on her. It's tough enough going solo, let alone watching over someone else. Still, 
going to enjoy the beach. We can finally have a good time. Now. Oh, hmm. thank you. It's all you. Hmm. Excuse me. Oh. Oh, honey. I'm beat. So you're saying... <laughs> I mean... <sighs> Nice work, huh? <laughs> yep. Taba will be in your care today. Make sure you don't let any dudes try to hit on her. Don't do anything that'll make you stand out, moron. Just act with your brains, okay? Hey, can we go already? Are you sure you'll be all right? It's just a day trip. Don't underestimate me. Right. Uh, sorry. Guess I just have to let it go. Have fun, but be careful, you two. He spoke. people here. Are you okay, Futaba? I'm fine. You guys are here. It's almost lunchtime. No! The squid's staring at me! It's cooked, so don't worry. Would you even eat squid if I'm not around? Why don't we eat lunch, too? I'll go get some stuff for us, then. You're eating that even here? My staple food. This should be a familiar flavor. Yet how does it taste so good? What's up, Makoto? You ain't eating much. Uh, oh, um... Not feeling well or something? You just don't get it, do you, Ryuji? When a girl's in a swimsuit, she wants to look as slim as possible. Still, you're worrying too much. Did you make sure to eat breakfast? Mona lacks tact. So, what do we do now? Should we play some beach volleyball? Oh, sorry. Us girls already made plans to ride a banana boat. We could only rent a three-person one. Sorry. Wait, then what about us? Keep an eye on our stuff. Hell no! Why you gotta treat us like that? We're celebrities making headlines. You should treat us better. Shut up. I do think they're not bad in the metaverse, but in reality... Strange, isn't it? They can steal treasures, but they don't seem like they can steal a girl's heart at all. Yeah, that's true. But, Lady On, 
Can we get to the banana boat already? Oh, sorry. We'll go now. We'll switch when we're done. Keep an eye on our stuff for us. You don't get how amazing we are. We risk our lives being phantom thieves. There's no way we're the same as other guys around here. Shouldn't we be having more good times in reality, too? Hey, you're full of yourself. No, we're special. Don't you agree, Yusuke? Well, if you put it that way, you may be right. An and the others don't get it because they're always around us. Hey. How do we get Lady On to notice how amazing we are as phantom thieves? Well, you gotta steal... you know what. So, is hearts? On made fun of us and all? Let's show her what we're really made of. I see. I just need to prove my skills in reality as well. Let's steal all the hearts with the skills we've honed as phantom thieves. I'm sure girls will be all over us considering the vibes we give off. Very well. Let's do this. Pulling off our work in reality doesn't sound bad. It's settled then. So, Mona, you're in charge of watching over our stuff, okay? Huh? All right, let's hurry up and go. Hey, what the hell? Get back here! Don't leave me behind! just looks kind of bland to me. Better. Don't say that like I'm the only one who messed up. We were going at it as a team, right? Hmm. Yeah, that's Did it. someone follow us here? Something tells me we're being watched. Yeah, I, I agree. Let's let's all go as a posse and hit on one girl. Yep, that sounds like a great plan. Really? You think one of those girls changed her mind? OMG, it's the golden boy himself! <gasps> and he's already got his own little entourage. <laughs> we really did teach him right, didn't we? You? Oh no. What are you guys doing here? <laughs> Sometimes we just gotta get out of the city, forget the nightlife, breathe fresh air, enjoy some eye candy. We thought we lost our protege. Who would have guessed our vacay was actually the call of fate? Oh, what's with the look? <laughs> Don't believe in fate? Or did you really not have fun last time? You gonna tell us you saw yourself in all that chiffon and felt nothing? Uh, I don't think I, I felt what you guys were hoping. Oh, honey, I get it. Everyone's nervous when they first start out. But trust me, you'll make their jaws drop. <laughs> just an hour at the vanity, three hours at the boutique, and we can just pick up where we left off last time. So, are you ready to steal some hearts? Uh, we gotta go. Sorry! Was it something I said? Oh, what a tragedy. Another starlet slips through our fingers. No more makeovers! <sighs> By the way, where's Yusuke? So this is where you two were. I've been searching for you. Uh, what are you doing with those lobsters? While you were busy with your interrogation, I found these beautiful specimens on sale. And so I decided to spend the last of my money on them. Man, you're real hopeless when it comes to cash. Wait, you were watching us? Why didn't you help? Apologies, but I was entranced. The moment I set eyes on this distinct shape, I was in love. I haven't had my very core shaken as vigorously as this since the first time An entered my gaze. Good for you. 
We're here with friends. Come on, don't lie to us, baby. How about you come for a nice cruise on our boat? There's going to be a party, too. Tons of celebrities and industry people will be coming along. Are you even listening to us? Sorry about the wait. Huh, so we were serious about being here with friends. That's what we've been saying from the start. Don't you find it boring spending your time with kids like them? It's far more interesting than anything involving you two. What was that? Hey, let's just let the children have fun with fellow children. We'll be going now. What creeps? Thanks for coming in like that. Those guys just wouldn't stop pestering us. To be honest, I was nearly at my wit's end. By the way, where are Futaba and Morgana? Ooh, are those lobsters? One in each hand! I was wondering about that myself. Are you going to make them into sashimi? Or perhaps roast them whole? Enough of your vile postulations. These are purely for the sake of visual appreciation. We did tons of stuff today. All in all, I guess coming to the beach was pretty worth it. We should probably start heading home. Agreed. Let's pack up. Futaba seemed fine in the crowd, too. So it looks like she's overcome her last exercise. Hey, Futaba! We're going home! Stop standing around and help us! You know, all this time, I thought that it was my fault that my mom died. Uh-huh. It's because everyone said that I killed her. Everyone looked at me thinking I was a murderer. I ended up hating this world. That's why I shut myself in and covered my ears. I wished... I wished my mom would come back to life. Sometimes I'd wake up and think it was all a dream. But nothing had changed in the world. That's why I'd sleep again. It'd be a repeat of that. <sighs> I loved my mom. I wanted to become like her. How she'd work late into the night. How she'd wake up early and make me a boxed lunch every day. How she'd do her best to further her research. How she'd scold me for peeking at her notes. It was cognitive science, wasn't it? The cognitive world can become distorted through desires. If it becomes distorted, a person begins exhibiting problematic behavior in reality. That cognitive world disappears when you remove its core, and further problematic actions stop. Isn't that about palaces? That's the metaverse! She knew about that? It made no sense back then. But now I understand, after it actually happened to me. All I thought about was my mom. I was trapped in a cognitive labyrinth. I couldn't get out of it. There was nothing I could do by myself. That's why you asked us to steal your heart? That's a huge jump in logic in so many ways. At first, I didn't believe the rumors about the Phantom Thieves, that they steal hearts, that I overheard you accidentally. I learned that you were near me. Overheard? Ah, the bug. So why were you listening in on LeBlanc in the first place? I had to keep an eye on Sojiro, make sure he was actually working. Talk about an awful hobby. You talked about stealing hearts. When I heard that, I was so happy I jumped up and down. I thought, maybe the Phantom Thieves could cure my heart. You could have just told us from the start. You might have been wary of me if I asked out of nowhere. And besides, you could have been bad guys. That's why I cautiously got in contact with you. I checked many times to see how you'd react. Yes. You had us twisted around your little finger. But Futaba... You didn't talk to anyone besides Boss for a long time, right? You must have needed a lot of courage to contact the Phantom Thieves. There were two reasons for it. One was Mejed's taunt. The Phantom Thieves were so pitiful it frustrated me. I would have been in trouble if they got disbanded too. Indeed. You were our only hope. The other was what I heard through wiretapping LeBlanc. 
Sojiro was being blamed with lies, like abusing me. He was being threatened to spill everything about my mom. Talk about making shit up. <sighs> it made me sad, and it hurt. I thought, I have to save Sojiro. I gotta do something. So that's why. But the Phantom Thieves... I didn't think you guys would be taking such risks for me. I didn't think you'd worry about me so much. I'm sorry that I acted like I doubted you guys. Do you believe in us now? Yeah, I can tell. You aren't bad guys. That's why I have a request. Let me join your team. There's nothing to join. You're already one of us. I'll be honest. Changing people's hearts isn't my goal. I want to learn what happened to my mom. The reason why she was killed. Killed? It was written in her notes. Should the self in the cognitive world die, the self in the real world would lose consciousness. Is this about mental shutdowns? Then, the criminal that Kaneshiro mentioned... Yes. That could be the case. I don't like pursuing this line of thought. But perhaps your mother's shadow was... I don't know for sure. But right before my mom died, she didn't seem right. In what way? No matter how much I talked to her, she wouldn't answer back. And she didn't jump into the road, it was more like she collapsed and fell in. That's why I thought what was written in the notes was real, and looked into it. I read books, checked theses that were released online. I even snuck into the networks of various research labs to look at their classified data. That's why you're good at hacking. What kind of brain do you have? But I didn't figure anything out. My mom's research was nowhere to be found. She was killed by someone, and her research was treated like it never existed. I bet it's them. Those adults in the black suits who read the fake suicide note. I'll never forgive them. Futaba. If I stay with you guys, I think I can find out more about that world. Then eventually, it might even lead to those men in black. It's a super personal reason why I want to join you. Is that okay? Or would I just be dead weight? If anything, you're dependable. Ain't that right, Mona? Why are you looking at me? Are you trying to say I'm inadequate? Well, she was more useful than you, as a matter of fact. Hey, that's inexcusable! This is what our Phantom Thieves are like. <laughs> but I hope we get along, Futaba. Thanks. Let's leave those two be. Why don't we lose no time and decide on Futaba's codename? What's that? It's not cool if we called each other by our real names. Joker, Skull, Mona, Panther, Queen, and I'm Fox. In Futaba's case, Hacker wouldn't be right, would it? Mech? PC? No. Why don't we go literal and call her goggles? Super lame. You've got no taste, kitty. <laughs> In your face. Do you have any good ideas for Futaba's codename? I'll curse you. What would you want it to be, Futaba? Mm. Oracle. With my vision, I'll guide you all to victory. Sounds great! Futaba will be Oracle. But man, I never even dreamed that the rumored Phantom Thieves would be so close. Same goes to you. To think you'd be the daughter of a Metaverse researcher. Talk about a mysterious fate. Should we get going then? Yep, let's go home. Yes. The incident with Medjet seems to have been more effective than predicted. This should spur the Phantom Thieves' support even more now. I agree. There are effective ways to use the Phantom Thieves. Now would be the best time to dispose of unnecessary trash, whether they're connected to us or not. Hey. Criminal who uses the Metaverse to carry out their crimes. This is no longer a matter we can ignore. Especially because they might be the one who killed Tava's mom. To be honest, I had considered the idea that they might be behind only the rumored 
psychotic breakdowns. But now it appears as though this person is killing people as well. Technically, they're making people have mental shutdowns, which then cause them to die. That's what happens when you kill someone's shadow, yeah? We were worried about it back with Kamashita and Madarama, you remember? The kind of breakdowns and mental shutdowns would make sense if the same person was behind them. The news never talks about the victims dying, so people only know about the breakdowns. So this shit's seriously a case? That's for real. Whoever's doing it is some kind of assassin. I'm gonna be crap at it. I would suggest we be cautious going forward. Well, we still don't know much, even about our metaverse stuff. It's true. I wonder why that thing exists. There's a man in my dream. Dream? You're still half asleep, dude? I wonder if that criminal is using the app, too. Top, this seems like your area of expertise. Do you know anything about it? Nope. I'll, I'd never even heard of it before. I mean, it's not really even an attack. It's more like a mysterious map, like thing. See, it's okay though. I might not know much about the map, but I can still navigate you guys on the path to victory. I'll guide you to whatever criminal you're looking for. <laughs> you can rely on me. It's awesome, dude. You're gonna be way more reliable than Mona. Damn it, Ryuji. You always find the worst possible things to say. Mm. Shit. This is really annoying. Where is that idiot? Ugh. Crap, hide! Oh yeah, there you are. What do you think you're doing making me look all over the place for you? Chief, what are you doing here? That's my line. Why isn't your phone on? Are you doing something you don't want me to find out about? No, not at all. Oh, it looks like my battery ran out. I've been busy covering the phantom thieves, so... You sure about that? I got a complaint about that from the higher-ups the other day. Apparently people have seen you snooping around recently in places unrelated to the phantom thieves. That's ridiculous. I've been hot on their trail lately. Who told them that? It doesn't matter who. The board's coming down hard on me for this. Now, don't make me ask you again. Why are you sneaking around behind the company's back? I'm honestly not. I just... What's this about? Alright, I'll tell you. Just promise you'll keep it as a secret, okay? Truth is, I'm in a relationship with this kid. What? Isn't he a minor? Yep, that's why I'm being so discreet about it. Who knows what laws we might be breaking? I guess keeping our trist a secret is tougher than I expected. Maybe someone saw us out of nowhere. For someone who specializes in fabricating articles, I'd expect you to be a better liar. I expect your resignation letter on my desk next week. If it doesn't come, I'll handle matters myself. Huh? So what? You decide I'm lying and that's that? Give it a rest already. I'm annoyed enough as is for having you to come for having to come track you down here. Wait. We're totally dating, aren't we, sweetie? <sighs> Why? Oh, I hope this this, this storyline is worth it. Of course we are. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he's the one who asked me out. So don't go thinking I'm some kind of cradle robber. Oh yeah, are you blackmailing him? I mean, let's be honest, you don't have the physique to be attracting high school kids. Hey, that's sexual harassment. And besides, our love is something that defies both age and logic. Whatever, just make sure you don't miss any deadlines, okay? Of course, so can we go now? Just one more question. I could have sworn the reason you were sneaking around was so you could follow up on your old partner's case. Huh? Well, oh yeah? Our movie is about to start. Is that so? Ugh. Like I said, I'm here on personal business, and I promise you. You lost all credibility when you started sneaking around like this, but fine, I'll back off. 
don't go f pulling anything funny, okay? The board wants me to keep a close eye on you. You've been warned. <sighs> Thanks, that guy is one of the execs over at my job. Arrogant bastard, eh? He's the kind of guy all the girls at the bar would instantly turn down. Anyway, that was a real surprise. Not only are you a good source of info, you're not half out as an actor either. You're honestly the type of guy I'd want to grab drinks with after work. Too bad you're underage. The more and more that goes through, All right. the more and more I hate you. Well, I guess that's it for today. Don't stop in any weird shops on your way home, okay? Well then. Hey kid, you headed straight home, right? No detour? You've got some real acting chops, man. They really saved me today. Once I get, got back to the editorial staff, all they asked for was my daily report. I couldn't believe it. You seem like a handy kid to know. Expect another call from me soon. I could use the help. And I'll repay you with the power of journalism, of course. I'll write you a solid article on the Phantom Thieves. Give it to me. Wow, so dependable. I like guys like you. The man. You've got a whole lot of guts for a high schooler. Well, I'm sure we'll gradually get to know each other better, so let me know if you get any more juicy info. Okay, bye. Oh, hey, uh, I know this is out of blue, but, uh, like, could we all meet up at LeBlanc tomorrow? Sure. Ah, oh, sweet! That worried tone. Could he still have summer vacation homework left to do? Is that Morgana? Whoa, how did he know? I actually called it. Anyway, I I've already hit Koto and the others. I'll be counting on you to get through this tomorrow. You gotta be kidding. Might as well get some sleep while we can. <laughs> that black thing was... me? That can't be true. I'm supposed to be human. I should be. If we get rid of the distortion in the depths of Mementos, I'm sure... I'm sure it'll all be fine. Sorry, did I wake you up? Bad dream? Oh, um, my sunburns were hurting, and that woke me up. I was absorbing all the sunlight because I'm black. Don't you get it? Can't get sunburns? You're thinking that my entire body's covered in fur, aren't you? I've got none on my pads! By the way, it's not like I'm bothered by this or anything, but hypothetically speaking, okay? What would you do if I turned out to be some weird... thing? You won't bother me. I'd be bothered by it! If what I saw from earlier is true, is it okay for me to stay with the Phantom Thieves? And even if I'm with the team, I'm useless at the moment. It's nothing. Well, I've gotten pretty used to my life as a cat, too. And to be frank, this storage room isn't bad either. Then again, I can't wait to turn back to being a human so I can move out. Maybe I'll live a life of luxury in a suite on the highest floor. Hmm. But rather than becoming some weird thing, maybe staying as a cat isn't so bad either. You and me made a deal, yeah? That means I can stay here. Isn't that right? Yeah. Thought so. Don't forget what you just said, okay? Come on. Let's hurry up and get to sleep. Night. It'll be fine, right? Oh, I'm done. As for me, I'm done for. A cliched way to end your summer vacation. I can't believe you hadn't even touched your homework until last night. Well, everyone's free to spend their time as they choose. I guess some people just can't help themselves. I'm sorry. Come on, I think he's learned his lesson. More importantly, why don't you folks take a break? Boss! Oh, you're a lifesaver. I'm gonna go pick up some groceries. Mind the shop for a bit. The sports club has aggressively applied kinesthesiology to the team's practices. By incorporating their lab's findings on human efficiency into the training regimen, they have developed a... Oh, that reminds me. 
Isn't there a female athlete from our own school who's made the news? An athlete? Oh, do you mean the one in gymnastics? Yeah, her! The one everyone's saying is super cute. Oh yeah, Yoshizawa, right? Wasn't she gonna be in the summer meet? Or is that already over? Ah, about that. Makoto? Well, I just happened to overhear a couple teachers discussing it when I was heading to school the other day. Yoshizawa-san's results in the meet? They weren't exactly stellar. I see. There seemed to have been a great many people expecting her success there. It's gotta be tough for her. Yeah. Ain't there one more meet left this year in gymnastics, though? Shit must be rough right now. But if she can nail that one, who cares what anybody at school says? Oh, that also reminds me. So, I just so happened to bump into Mishima-kun before summer vacation started. And? He seemed really mad. I asked him what was wrong, and he showed me some posts on an underground site about our school. It pretty much said the school's planning to abandon any honor student who isn't actively making Shujin look better. Whoa, wait a sec. There was no name, and it sounded like just another rumor at first. But could this be about Yoshizawa-san? Who knows? Still, ever since the case with Kamoshida, the school's been frantically trying to improve its public image, right? At the very least, this abandonment of honor students would fall in line with the school's real mission. I can't deny the possibility that they would do this to Yoshizawa-san. They dump all their hopes onto their athletes, and if they don't cut the mustard, they're out like the rest of the trash, huh? Regardless of whether it's true or not, such behavior is extremely self-serving. <laughs> Just like we thought this whole time. There's still tons of shit wrong with society. Yeah, we don't know what'll happen to Yoshizawa's spot on the team, but at the very least, we can keep up our efforts to prevent the worst case scenario. Next up, our spotlights on a topic everyone's talking about, the Phantom Thieves incidents. The Phantom Thieves shocked the world by silencing a globally notorious hacktivist group. Their popularity goes beyond our own borders, with foreign media following them closely as well. Many are heralding them as dark heroes and gentlemen thieves for a new age. Whoa, this is getting pretty crazy. So the whole world really knows about us. So the more famous we get, the more memento shows up, yeah? I can't get that out of my head. And that's why we couldn't focus on your homework until today, right? Yeah, exactly. Sounds like an excuse to me. Still, I've been wondering about that too. I wonder why it works like that. Does Magana know anything? I don't know. I don't even remember how I first learned about mementos. He doesn't seem to know. I see, then there's no way for us to find out. It will likely become clear if we continue as the Phantom Thieves. The most important thing now is the identity of that criminal using the metaverse. That m might be the person who killed my mom. I'm gonna find them, no matter what it takes. You know, we used to be lacking in quite a few areas, but now that we have Futaba helping us, a great number of possibilities are now available. Yes, we gained a fantastic addition to our team in the most unexpected manner. Aw, you're making me blush! We'll be counting on you, Fataba. This feels way better than having some dumb cat guy does. <sighs> Alright. Alright. Um... So I've been thinking a lot about our last meeting and I wasn't completely honest with you. So I've decided I'm going to tell you everything about Fukurai-san, as well as the real reason why I decided to leave my village. I already told you about how it was a small, traditional town tucked away in the mountains, right? Well, when I was young, I predicted a major earthquake. The villagers revered me as a messenger of God, but when I kept predicting disasters, they started blaming me for everything. They said I was cursed, a monster, so I locked myself away. People would still come by to throw stone through the windows, though. Mm. Things went on like that for some time, until one day, an angry mob came and burned the house down. That's why I decided to come to Tokyo after graduating high school. I wanted to change my fate. I didn't know anyone, but I needed money, so I took the first job I could find at a small nightclub. I found myself surrounded by dangerous people, but that's when Vikurai-san appro approached me. 
Um... He's a psychic too, you know. He knew from a mere glance that I was a runaway who had just come to Tokyo. Then, once I told him why I decided to leave my village, he immediately invited me to join him up with the ADP. That was when he gave me the moniker of the Maiden of Relief. He told me that I possessed a divine power to save others from misfortune, that I could become more than the monster people saw me as. I broke down the moment he said that. <laughs> Deep down, I knew all along that the holy stones didn't have any powers, but I thought I might be able to save people, even though I was a monster. Or perhaps because I was a monster. So the truth is, I was only ever selling those holy stones for my own personal benefit. I'm a terrible person, huh? Yeah, I don't think so. What? My fortune said you're supposed to hate me. I never thought you would overturn even that fake crime voice, huh? I've made up my mind. You know what? I see now how wrong I was. I'm not going to keep turning a blind eye to, to injustice. I'm going to expose the chairman's fraudulent activities and wake up the other members up to the truth. Thank you very much. So much for listening to me today. If there's ever anything you need to talk about, I'd be glad to return the favor, Crime Boy Son. All right. Now that I think about it, though, just saying the Holy Stones are powerless won't convince people. The ADP holds what they call seminars for believers, but it's really just brainwashing. That's why everyone thinks they'll be unhappy without a Holy Stone. Honestly, I don't hold any sway there, even though I'm the maiden of relief. Um... Just who is the chairman? Let me think it over some more. We can talk further next time. Thank you. Crime boy son, please hear me out. Now that I think about it, I barely knew anything about the chairman, nor the ADP in general. So I'm thinking of doing some research on the ADP first. I'm done turning a blind eye. You gonna be okay? Are you worried about me? That kind of makes me happy. But yes, I'll be all right. As long as I have the trust of my clients and believers. I am the maiden of relief, after all. Af from now on, I will see with my own two eyes rather than through cryptic fortunes. I'll let you know if I find anything. So please, promise me that you'll come by again. Now I should be going. I never expected what happened to Futaba's mother would be connected to those incidents in the city. We can't leave this be. You're right. Though this scoundrel has the same power as us, they're triggering people's mental shutdowns. If they truly exist, who can stop them? Only us. This is getting interesting. You seem fired up. We've got a new addition to the team, so it's time I flex my veteran skills. Organa seemed awfully excited. Hey, we need to talk. Come downstairs. Come downstairs! What's up? Hey, get ready. We're going out for lunch. Just the three of us. Do you want me to come? You don't have any plans, right? Just come on. It'll be my treat. Not only can Futaba go out now, but your summer break's almost over. We gotta do something. I asked especially for sushi. You better be thankful. This place is supposed to be super delicious, too. Sushi? Take me with you! I didn't get to eat the takeout sushi last time, remember? Man, that thing never stops meowing, does it? Who wants to come with? There's no way they'd let us in with a cat in tow. Yeah, sorry, but it's gonna have to be a no. I do feel sorry for it, though. Well, I guess I don't mind bringing some sushi home. He knows me so well! Let's see. I want some medium-fat tuna, fatty tuna, salmon roe, anago, and... and... Oh, are you going to be able to remember all this? You might want to take notes. So, how is it? Good? Mmm, delicious! Don't wolf it down like that. It, look, no one's going to take your food. <laughs> what did I tell you? Drink some tea. Restroom! <laughs> huh? Oh, oh, 
restrooms. Uh, they're that way. <laughs> what a busy girl. <sighs> Back in the day, she, her mother, and I used to go eat out often. This brings back memories. I had completely forgotten about it, too. I was close. I thought I was gonna die. Well, time to resume. You're still going to eat? Uh, I'm all full. I'm throwing in the towel. <laughs> Which is it? I'm gonna use the restroom and then pay the bill. Uh, check, please. Coming right up. When I got into middle school, my mom and Sojiro took me out to eat sushi to celebrate. That sushi was so good. Today's was pretty good, too. I hope the three of us can come again sometime. Me too. When should we do this again? I wish she could have had today's sushi, too. <sighs> I want to find out what happened to mom. I won't forgive the guy who triggered her mental shutdown. So, you better help me out. 120,000 yen? <laughs> You're joking, right? Looks like we won't be getting sushi to go. Welcome home! I've been waiting for you! Huh? Wait, where's my sushi? Where's my fatty tuna? Where's my inago? The sushi was so delicious. We even ate cat share. If only Sojuro had more money. So that's why. There's actually one place I want to go more than sushi. Any idea what it is? Uh, what is it now? Come on, play along with me. You're lacking humor. I want to go to Akihabara. I want to buy a game, but I'm scared to do it alone. So, do you think you can help? Of course. You're a nice guy. Okay, it's late, so let's just meet there. I want- I know how to ride the train after that trip to the beach, so I can get there, fine. Well then, I'll be waiting. Wait, we're meeting in Akihabara? Is Futaba really going to be okay? We'd better get over there. Is this where we're supposed to be meeting? Is she not here? Try checking around. Are you all by yourself? Where did you come from? Uh, I... Uh... Hey, over there. Did you run away from home? What's wrong, little girl? Uh, that looks bad. What are you gonna do? Um, let's help, obviously. Yeah, hurry up! Uh, well, can you come down to the station with me for now? Huh? Who are you? Hey! Do you know this girl? You're not lying, are you? Very well. Futaba? Are you okay? S sorry I thought I conquered my fears back at the beach. What happened? There wasn't anyone I knew with me, so I panicked. Felt like my heart was gonna pop. I got so scared all by myself. Then I just sort of curled up into a ball. Then all these people started staring at me, and the police came... And then it was all over. Look, Futaba, if you're ever in trouble, just call this guy. Okay. Hmm. I feel kind of calm when we're this close. You're okay being like this, right? Are you a remora? Maybe. <sighs> Couldn't even go by a game by myself. I'm a failure. Futaba. But I'm okay outside as long as it's with him. Is he some kind of key item? Please, be my key item. I'll try and get better at navigation if you do. Is this a deal? Yeah, a deal. Is that good with you? We were impressed with the intel gathering skills of the Phantom Thieves as well. We also know that this would have been impossible unless you had a skilled hacker. Who was doing this? over with let's go where need bye game 
Weren't you bawling your eyes out just a second ago? Yeah, but I have my key item now. <laughs> Victory conditions met. Come on, let's roll. Welcome home. Where were you two? Akihabara. What? <laughs> That's incredible, Futaba. I... I guess. Oh, I just hope you can keep that up. Maybe you'll even be able to go to high school someday. Yeah. Well, that's enough of that. Oh, I bet you're exhausted after dealing with all those people, huh? Let's get you to bed. Hey, we're gonna head back. Well, this approval rating's insane. It's over 60% now. Aw, you're making me blush. I'm not talking about you. No, this is definitely thanks to Futaba silencing magic. See? Uh, how about that? It's kind of frightening how strong this momentum is. It's encouraging. Right? This shit's like the perfect motivation. Everyone's got high expectations of the fan of these. Let's make sure they're answered. On top of all that, this case has shed light on something important. You mean that criminal? Well, I suppose at this point we can refer to them as the one behind the mental shutdowns. That's the one who killed my mom. We can't leave them be. Let's work. Let's talk more in detail about this tomorrow at school. It seems you formed a contract with another new ally. This is the owner of quite a different type of power. It will help guide you all to further heights as thieves. So what now? <laughs> Worry not. You are steadily approaching the realization of your goal. This is not necessarily to prove so, but I shall increase the number of personas you can hold at once. From here on, your tale will make great progress. Own your powers even further and prepare for the time that will soon come. I expect great things from you. Until we meet again. It is time, inmate. Return to your world. Morning. Ooh, a uniform. School resumes today. Make sure you study hard. <laughs> Utaba says she's going to shift to living a morning person's life. A healthy mission starts with a healthy lifestyle. Mission? And on to breaking news. In regard to the so-called Phantom Thieves events that have been a hot topic among the general public, the Prime Minister held a press conference at his official residence to address the problem. The government acknowledges the current rumors of a group called the Phantom Thieves. We are currently confirming facts with the police and wish to deal with it in an appropriate... Even the Prime Minister's talking about the Phantom Thieves? They're allies of justice, after all. They change hearts, huh? I wonder if it's true. Hmm. <laughs> Looks like we're finally being recognized across the country. Think so? In all honesty, I think you guys are managing great. It's all thanks to my amazing guidance. Let's find clues on that case as soon as we can, too, and resolve it ourselves. For Futaba's sake, too. You two really get along, don't you? You're gonna be late if you don't get going soon. Good luck on your student duties! Second term's already started. I think this every year, but isn't summer vacation too short? Well, winter break is coming. How desperate are you? You were just complaining to me about... <clears throat> okay, whatever. Alright, let's begin, homeroom. Let's see... We've just gotten back from vacation, but starting next Monday is the school trip. Oh yeah, that's right! <sighs> you students are so lucky. Get an entire month off for summer and get to go to Hawaii, too. Make sure that none of you cut loose too much, okay? Okay, settle down. That concludes homeroom. School trip, huh? I guess we won't be able to act as phantom. <laughs> Takamaki-san! You can speak English, right? Basically, yeah. 
That's amazing. I lived over there, so it's nothing that special. Hey, if there's something we're not sure of in English, can we ask you about it? Huh? All people are talking about in my class is the fan videos. Is it the same for you? Talk about being popular. Anyways, now that a new semester started, let's have another operation meeting. There you guys are. Futaba, did you come here by yourself? I went to get her since I got out of school early. What a patronizing Inari. Well then, let's get talking. What do we do now? Should we go after another big target? That's important too, but what about that villain in the cognitive world? It's almost certain that this person exists. What's more, they're inducing mental shutdowns. We certainly can't turn a blind eye. <sighs> yeah, but we don't got any clues. But, you know how we're Toad's popular right now? Everyone at school's talking about us. And not a day goes by when you don't hear about it on TV either. We totally made it big, don't you think? True. The rankings on the Phantom Aficionado website have been crazy, too. You mean this? Huh? The hell? First place keeps changing by the second. People are voting around the clock, after all. If we go after these guys, I'm sure we'll score some big cash at least once. What would you use money like that for? Well, put it in savings. I've never heard of a phantom thief that saves up money. Are you fine with that, Futaba? Even though it's related to what happened to your mother. It's not okay. I'm definitely gonna punch that guy. The culprit forcing mental shutdowns. If you think about it, there's no bigger target than that. If we can change his heart and get a confession out of him, we'll be on top of the world for real. Should we reveal our identities then? Oh, I bet chicks are gonna be all over us. Whoa, whoa, you want us to show our faces? I guess that might be okay. I see. If the true culprit confesses the existence of the metaverse will become known, there would be no need for us to remain in hiding in such a questionable manner. Hey, we're not doing this to stand out, you know. Thank you, Makoto. Being unknown is the allure of being a phantom thief. Considering the hype now, it's gonna be one hell of a huge deal if we pull it off. Are there really no clues regarding those mental shutdown cases? If I remember right, wasn't the older Nijima sister investigating it? Yes, I can pry and ask about it. But she'll just tell me to mind my own business and get angry with me. If you can't ask her, wanna just extract that data? Does she have a personal laptop or something? Don't tell me. I can lend you a storage device with my special gimmick on it. Just stick this baby in and it'll clone the internal hard drive. It'll even bypass the OS password. You'll have to plug it directly into her laptop, though. Can you do it? Sis does bring her laptop home sometimes. But I'm not comfortable going that far. Ooh, is Futaba gonna do something amazing again? Are you scared of seeing how your sister truly feels? No! Of course not. Fine, I'll do it. Ooh, peer pressure. What? I was in a tabloid magazine, but I gave a gag order in regard to Mr. Kamashita's case. Please, wait! Please give me some time! I will find evidence on the Phantom Thieves for sure! I couldn't have made it this far had it not been for your assistance, sir. So, please, please let me... No! No! These rankings are insane. Yes, if you took look away for even a single moment, the order changes completely. It's hard to decide who to actually go after. They're flooding in. We can choose anyone we want. We should wait for now, though. It will surely cool off soon. More importantly, how are things on your end, Makoto? Is this it in home yet? She may not come back at all tonight. Man, just think how great it'd be to, to narrow down our targets. That's true, but aren't you guys taking this too lightly? All the pressure here rests on me. Ugh. I hate both of these answers. Even you, Reginald? I know, I'm sorry. I suppose I'll do it. Let's leave this to Makoto. I'm sure she'll be able to pull it off. What do you think? So the chairman's pushing me as hard as ever to fake sell these fake stones. I 
I've been trying to use this as an opportunity to investigate into the ADP seminar so I can expose him. But the deeper I dig, the scarier everything becomes. Also, um. the ADP apparently doesn't pr profit very much from sales of the Holy Stone. It's nothing more than a front. Most of their revenue actually comes from the seminars. There, they give their patrons some sort of mind-altering drug. After which, they're encouraged to donate their life savings to the benefit of the ADP. Pe people have even gone missing after seminars. Families have been torn apart by this madness. <sighs> and I... I was part of it all. By selling these fraudulent stones, I was in direct support of their terrible actions. I know this doesn't make up for what I've done, but I want to help the others come to their senses. Barely anyone than the 80 people talk to me though, and those who do won't actually hear me out. What should I do, Crime Boy Son? These people are all heading down a path toward great ruin. There has to be some way I can deal with the chairman. Right, I'll just have to admit to everything that's been going on, even if I get dragged down too. That's the only way. Mm. I'm the one only one who can stop him, right? Tell me his name. Mm. Oh, the chairman? It's Yuichi Fukurai. Um. Why do you ask? Eh, don't worry about it. <sighs> How strange. It seems the cards have changed somehow. My future is in line with that of the trickster. What does that mean? Even so, my fate remains unchanged. I am destined to stay a monster. Um. I'll have to work on this for a while. Let's finish for today. Good night. Huh. Did you get a tan? You seem different. Oh, yes. Thank you for the coffee last time. It is a lovely cafe. I haven't relaxed that much in a while. You should come again. It's nice of you to say. Especially lately, since it seems I'm hated by those who support the Phantom Thieves. Anyhow, it seems your school's in trouble. The media is reporting that the whole school was involved in the cover-up about that gym teacher. Those unfortunate students were made victims. All because adults valued their own conveniences. This is unforgivable, no matter the reason. Let me know if you need anything. I'll do my best so that the case is wrapped up quickly. What up? Did you see that ad in the train? So? Media's gonna show up at school again. Cover up by faculty and principal of Shujin Academy, where the Phantom Thieves first appeared. It's been a huge deal already. I wonder what's gonna happen to the principal now. Anyways, we made the right choice going after big targets. Everywhere I go, people are talking about us. Whoa! Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, I'm fine. That girl just now, don't you think she was fine? The Phantom Thieves are on fire right now. So I wonder if I got a chance, if I asked her out? It sucks that I can't just say I'm actually a fan thief to anybody. Okay, keep your Did you do it too, Teach? The whole cover-up thing? This is the first time I'm hearing about it too. Even if the police ask you anything, you better not make irresponsible comments to them. Seriously, why does this keep happening? All my relatives are gonna call me again. Oh, perfect timing. I think you might have been told this already, but it's about the school trip. You know how the police have been coming to the school again because of that incident? So, a number of the senior faculty are going to be called in for questioning, and that day just happens to overlap with the school trip. Yes, I've been told so. Now, this came up at the faculty meeting, but the plan is to have third years to act as our proxies. I'm so sorry to drop this on you, Nijima-san, but we'll be counting on you. What? You know, a lot of the second years this year happen to be... Unique. You must have your hands full with the entrance exams, but I'm sure you'll be fine with your grades. Don't worry. There'll be a couple more people going besides you. If that's the case, very well. Really? Oh, thank goodness. I'll go ahead and pass this news on then. I guess that works out. You guys see? Ketchy showed up in the rankings. Perhaps it's due to the negative comments he made about us. Seems that way. God, this is freaking amazing. I feel bad. Come on, he 
don't gotta be a jerk like him. By the way, how's it going, Dakota? You getting to your sister's dating? I think she's been busy. She didn't come home at all yesterday. That's problematic. What are we gonna do? We can't do a damn thing to look at that. Don't rush me. I assure you I can handle this. More importantly, everyone at school has been on edge since that tabloid article. Please be careful not to stand out, okay? You don't gotta tell me, boys. Hey! What the hell? I have max proficiency. Pay attention! Whatever. <sighs> well then. Hello there. You remember our deal? How I was supposed to help you with physical training? You think we could put that on hold for next week? I'm going to a training camp, so I'll be out of Japan for a while. I'm going to Hawaii myself. Huh? Oh, right, the second year's trip is next week, too. Now that's a coincidence. We're, gonna, we're both going overseas at the same time, huh? Okay, then training's on hiatus until we both go to get home. Enjoy your trip. You have to tell me all about it later. Would you like? Hello. Aki hmm? hmm? <laughs> was lots of fun. I think I want to try going somewhere else sometime. It really sounds like Sojuro wants me to go back to school. But online classes are better for studying. I wouldn't even have to leave the house. A great idea. Yeah, huh? And I can attend classes without even getting out of bed. Though, I don't know if, if Sojuro really considered To be honest, I really do want to go back. Do you think I'll be able to? If we work together. Yes. I... I'm gonna do my best. Oh, that's right! I should make a promise list. My mom used to have me do that all the time. She'd write all my goals for the month, like cleaning the house or running errands for her. Then, when I'd finish one, she'd mark it off with a big stamp. She always used to write comments too. Those were the best. Oh, and once I finished all my goals, she would take a day off work to spend time with me. All right! It's decided that I'm gonna make a promise list. Time to get my ideas ready. <laughs> all done. So these are my promises. One, go somewhere with lots of people. Getting used to big crowds is key. Go to school. I want to see what the inside of a normal high school looks like. Three, learn about my generation. I definitely need more info. Four, have a normal conversation with a stranger my age. Hmm. How's that? Sounds good to me. Settled. I'm not sell setting a date. I'm not setting a deadline for this, by the way. I want to try and finish all of them someday. You're gonna have to help me, though. I'll work even harder with my navigation in return. Um... If I finish all the promises, do you think I could have a reward? I know it's kind of weird to ask, but having a reward waiting at the finish line will totally push me onward. Alright! I got this. I'm kind of exhausted from making lists, so... Tomorrow. I got this tomorrow. Okay? Hoi! It is I! Thanks for spending time with me today. Taking out the promise list brought back memories of when I worked on it with my mom. Hey, if I finish the promise list and start going to school, do you think I'd make Sojuro happy? 
I bet it will. Right, right? Okay, that's another reason I gotta work on this. I wanted to think of something I could do for Sojuro, but that's all I got for now. But first I gotta finish the pr promise list. Doing this alone would be like Omega hard. Like trying to solo a final boss. But now I got you in my party. <laughs> I'm counting on you. Oh yeah, I'm stoked. Let's start Phantom Thieves Quest 4, Chapters of the Thieves. Sure, we've got a party of only two, but don't worry about that. Bye for now. Hey. Did you get the data yet? No, my sister still hasn't come home. Man, she's seriously that busy? Probably because of us. So, uh, do you still want to go through with this? Yes, I can do it. Hold on, I have a message. It sounds like she's on her way home. Alright, let's it's finally time! My heart's pounding. Make sure to be cautious, okay? Be careful. Understood. I'll report back tomorrow. Ooh, I can't wait to see what comes of this. Oh, I don't have max proficiency. Oops. That makes sense. I have some great info for you. Um, it's about the next target for the Phantom Thieves. This one's massive. You sure you are fired up. No, no. Oh, of course. She's got a huge target on her hands. This is the guy. He's a handsome young actor who's been rapidly gaining popularity lately. He's great at acting, has solid conversation skills, he's even been in all sorts of commercials. If you manage to change his heart, everyone will have to start paying attention to the Phantom Thieves. He's gotta be doing some shady stuff, I just know it. And no, I'm not saying that out of jealousy. I heard a rumor that a famous idol fell into his clutches. You need to act on behalf of her fans. Our business. So you just want to ignore the wishes of those fans, Crime Boy? Come on, this is the, the evil underbelly of the entertainment industry. It's perfect for the Phantom Thieves. I mean, this would be the best publicity possible for you guys. What do you think? Well, pretty good tactic, huh? Aren't I an amazing producer? Just you wait, I'm gonna put the Phantom Thieves on the map. You'll practically be swimming in requests. That's right. I'm the producer for the fam famous Phantom Thieves. I'm not boring. I'm not a zero. Hey, take out your phone. All right. I just sent you that actor's data. Why? Don't worry. This request will boost your popularity, guaranteed. After all, I'm the only reason you guys have gotten this far, right? Right? No, no. I think you mean yes, that's right. Ugh, you just don't know all the stuff I do for you guys. Phantom Thieves' success is thanks to me, and the Phantom Thieves are changing the world. That means I'm the one who's responsible for those changes. Damn it. That means I'm not a zero. Make sure you check the info I sent you. I'll let you know once I found some more details. See you around. I'm listing up the evidence that's been taken into storage. It's a chore that any part-timer could do. I don't have time to waste on something like this. It felt like my irritation would show on my face at the office, so I brought it home. Sorry to hear. The Phantom Thieves case isn't so easy that I could pursue it in my spare time. The media keeps making a ruckus about it, so people have been wary whenever we make inquiries. Why I couldn't get anything out of a man who seemed to have intel. I even tried threatening him. All I did was question him a bit harshly. Oh, I almost forgot. I'll be going on a school trip starting next week. The senior faculty are being questioned, so I'll be going in their stead. Sounds good to me. The school will owe you for it. It won't get in the way of your entrance exams, will it? Not at all. Feel free to take a bath first. I need to study. Okay, I think I'll do that.
Got it. What are you talking about this early in the morning? I extracted the data from my sister's PC. Well done. I'm not entirely sure I did it correctly though. Ooh, I've been waiting for this. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I have to head to school right now though. Whoa, my bad. Bring it right after that. I'm gonna punish you if you're late. Looks like it went well. I wonder what we'll find. Oh, before that, we should get over to school. This is it. Here you go. I think I did it right. <laughs> Leave it to me. Whoa, you grabbed all these? Are they for Hawaii? If we're gonna lay low, we might as well enjoy it. Oh, look at this one! Gigantic sea turtle sightseeing on some beach. Come on, food's more important than some turtle. You really don't find steak this big and thick in Japan. Also, Mahi Mahi? Is that some kind of fish? Think it's good? It seems that it's the season for schools all around. We're going on our school trip as well. Yeah? Where are you guys going? I believe it's Los Angeles. <laughs> that doesn't suit you at all, Yusuke. I bet you wanted to go somewhere like Nikko or Nara. Anywhere is acceptable. After all, the mineral pigments used for Japanese art were originally imported. Hawaii and Los Angeles, huh? Which would you want to go to? Oh, Hawaii, for sure. But Los Angeles is hard to give up, too. I mean, don't I seem like an L.A. guy? Like a total gangsta? No. That makes no sense at all. Thank you. Hawaii is more of a resort place than L.A., so I'd rather go there. So we won't be seeing each other for a while. We'll make sure to buy a souvenir for you. Ooh, here comes some interesting data. This is just from a quick glance, but it says perpetrated and connected. It means that mental shutdowns aren't coincidence, that this is a case with a culprit behind it. Actually, it's not just about people having shutdowns. Looks like she's inferring that the psychotic breakdown incidents are connected to the same case. Makoto sis How long do you think it'll take to analyze all of it? Hmm. There's a lot, so it's not happening overnight. But I'll manage by the time you guys get back. I demand souvenirs from Hawaii and LA for my reward. I don't really get all this, but you're as amazing as always, Futaba. I guess it's called an information war? Oh, it's so high-tech and modern. Kinda reminds me of a movie. We're the Phantom Thieves, so it's not that big a deal. I mean, I can turn into a car and stuff, too. Come on, don't try and compete with her. What did you say? You're fine the way you are, Morgana. Like, you're cheeky cute? Cute? Videon, I... Well, we'll continue this when we get back from the trip. I can't wait to see how much the Phantom Thieves' popularity is increased by then. Get to prepare yourselves for the trip, okay? You're really sounding like a teacher right now, man. What do you even say that for? Didn't I tell you? I'll be coming along. What? 
teachers have asked me to chaperone the trip in their place. Wait, what? I didn't hear a damn thing about that. Is there a problem? I'm glad we can go together. Yes, I was worried about how many troublemakers will be there. Are you talking about us? But why are you having... But why are they having you go at all, Makoto? It seems that some teachers have to stay behind to deal with that tabloid article. So they decided to get a couple of third years to act as additional chaperones. It seems a few others besides myself will be going as well. Oh, I see. By the way, this overseas trip has been truly long awaited. I expect leaving Japan will be a great eye-opener for us. This is a wonderful opportunity, so we should be sure to enjoy it. Don't forget souvenirs! Actually... Before we play, I'd like to talk to you about something. My mother told me that I should lose my upcoming exhibition match against the pro. What do you mean? It's a strategy she devised. She says that if I lose to a man, I'll get sympathy from women, and as a result, get more female fans. Then, when I make my comeback, I'll become a symbol for strong women everywhere. That way I can use the weekly magazine's popularity against them and instantly become famous. Uh, that won't work. I wish I could agree, but I feel my mother may be right. People do love a good comeback story. Coming from the TV industry, my mother does have great insight for entertainment. This time around, I couldn't help but argue. It's the wrong thing to do. I actually got into a fight with my mother. It wasn't the first time, but what made me sad was I realized my mother doesn't see me as a shogi player. She said that there's no need for me to be putting so much effort and time into shogi. It's terrible. That once I become famous, I can quit shogi and make money from my looks. The only reason she continues to support my shogi career is so she can profit off of me as my, an idol. She doesn't mind if I lose a match, as long as I build my reputation and make money. To my mother, shogi is just a vehicle to make me famous. However... Losing in, on purpose is wrong. Even if it helped me to become famous and ease my parents' burden, I don't want to turn my back on Shogi, a game that both my father and I love. Let's make her reconsider. <sighs> if only that was possible. She's the type of woman who never changes her mind. She wants to achieve her unfulfilled dream of becoming a celebrity through me. I highly doubt she would even reconsider. What's your mother's name? It's Mitsuyo Togo. Um. What does that have to do with what we're talking about? Bye, I guess. Let's get started on this promise list. The first one is go somewhere with lots of people. Ooh, I've got the perfect place! Mm -hmm. Akihabara Wars! Revenge of the Futaba! Mm -hmm. You're going to Akihabara? Be careful out there. Hey, hey! Hey, did you see that tablet earlier? Whoever drew that picture was a real pro. Not as good as Inari, though. He's got a particularly pervy view on art. Ah! Whoa, what's going on? There's a super list limited sale at the PC section. Three terabytes for only 500 yen? What a steal! That's gonna sell out in seconds. Mayday, mayday! I'm trapped in the home alliance! 
Mayday, Mayday! I'm trapped in the home appliance kingdom. The three terabyte war rages on in outside. There are just so many people. I don't know if I can last much longer. Call cut out. Maybe I should go look for Madonna. Maybe. <sighs> there you are. I I I was about to come find you. Today. Thanks. Thanks. I didn't think I was gonna see you until the end of time. But then I thought about you while I was wandering around the store, and bam! A wild Reginald appeared. Again. So you're really what an incredible coincidence. Me too. Hmm? Wait a tick. I just finished a promise. Go somewhere with lots of people. Oh. Well, am I awesome or what? It's all because of the three terabyte war though. Oh, and because you brought me here. <laughs> I, Futaba Sakura, hereby thank thee. when I was soloing that dungeon. I think not being with you is kind of scary, Reginald. All right. All right then. I'm gonna add another goal to the list: being okay without you around. It might be a long quest line, but I'll finish it someday. <sighs> I'm tired. Okay, going home. Hey, it's me. Thanks for your help today. So, I beat the go somewhere with lots of people goal. First try too, not bad. I'm still not sure how I'm supposed to be being okay without you around. But at this pace, I'll clear it in no time, right? We'll both do our best. Woo, I got this. I don't care how hard the quests are. I'll take them all. Anyway, I guess the point is I gotta grind for now. Leveling up for a big encounter is basic stuff. I'm gonna do a little research, see if there are any other ways I can power up. <laughs> this is all kind of exciting, huh? Talk to you later. Ah, you're back. I'm so bored. What are you talking about? Analyze that data. My PC is doing all the work. That leaves me with nothing. We are preparing for our school trips. None of us have the time to entertain you right now. Oh shoot, I need to go shopping. All we need is a toothbrush, right? What are you packing for? That's a lot it's I need. There's a lot I need. Shampoos, lotions, conditioners. All oh, that reminds that reminds me. I should pack a canvas. This trip will be a prime painting opportunity. Will one be enough though? Why even bring one? Drawing, of course. I will bring three, including a spare. Now regarding the canvas size, bigger is better, yes? What are you asking us for? What I mean is, you shouldn't take shit like that with you. <sighs> Being able to talk to each other openly like that must be nice. You got a minute? Alright. That's good for today. Oh, but there's something I want to talk to you about. It's about that secret suit I've mentioned. There's more to it than my having been in the Yakuza. I just want to make sure you don't go saying something stupid if you run into Karo around here. Back when I was working with the Hashiba clan, some crazy lady came around our office. Must have been over 10 years ago. She had this baby with her. And the whole time she was there, she kept going on about how she wanted to sell it. <sighs> Figured she was just some cracked up junkie looking for drug money. But when I told her no, she sat the baby down and ran off. That baby was Karu. <laughs> Thinking about it, I'm still not really sure why I took him in. Not only did I have to leave the clan, but now I'm stuck running this shop I don't even like. Every day's an uphill battle. I still haven't managed to tell Karu I was in the Yakuza though. Why not? 
let me ask you something. How would you feel if you found out your parents were wrapped up in some dirty shit? <sighs> That's how my mom was. She'd spend every night out drinking, running around town with all sorts of guys. I couldn't stand to see her destroy herself like that. Often I wished I could have had someone else as my mom. So I didn't want to make Karu go through the same thing. I wanted to make sure he had a good childhood. That's why I left the clan. I did everything according to the code, but now Suda's dragging me back. Once he remembered I run this fake gun shop, he came by asking me to make custom models for him. <sighs> Though he wasn't really asking, the bastard forced me to, into it by threatening to tell Karu everything. Truth is, Tuda's got all sorts of dirt. Just now, not just on what happened when Karu was a baby, but on me and the rest of my family too. Who knows what happened if Karu learned the truth. Tuda isn't gonna stop there though. I'm sure he'd go on and tell everyone else he could. When it's all said and done, he's gonna try and take everything I have. Shit. If word gets out about my past, People are gonna treat Karu like he's no different than me. After all, everyone knows shitty parents end up making shitty kids. And once he's got that stigma, he'll be stuck with it. When shit goes wrong, he'll always be the one who gets blamed. That's how it was for me. <clears throat> That's why I turned to the Yakuza. Nobody else would accept me. That's why I can't turn Suda down just got too much power. You're pathetic. <laughs> you got that right. I bet Karu's sick of having a weak ass dad like me. Anyways, I was trying to stall Suda with bullshit stare prototypes while I figured out a way to stop him. But that bastard's real good at keeping his cards close to his chest. Plus, he caught wind of what I was trying to do and started keeping tabs on me 24-7. Thankfully, that's just about when you showed up, kids. Sorry. Sorry for bringing all that shit up out of the blue. Probably didn't want anything to do with me after that, huh? I'll stick around for the guns. <laughs> Man, you're seriously into this enthusiast shit. Oh, right. Just remembered I never gave you a reward for that info. You're right. How about I give you a discount on the special menu? That should keep you quiet for a while. <laughs> Pretty good deal, huh? Damn, it's late. Should be getting home. <sighs> Karu's been eating a ton lately after cram school. He's probably gonna have another growth spurt soon. Anyways, I'm closing up for today. You should head home too. Later. Hey, sorry about earlier. Didn't mean to get talking about that heavy shit. But I gotta protect that secret, no matter what, for Karu's sake. You're right. Yeah, I'll do whatever it takes. I guess that's why I brought it up at all. Right now, I still don't know what Suda's next move's gonna be. We gotta stay on guard 24-7. Don't wanna get killed in your sleep, right? Alright, see ya.